And the country's dairy sector accounts for 8% of the country's economic output. Despite this, small-scale farmers, who are really the backbone of the industry, have remained at the mercy of both hawkers and the large milk processing plants in the country. But things do seem to be changing as farmers join hands to set up small milk processing plants. This is a story of the Highlands Premium Dairies, the lifesaver for dairy farmers living in the Gidunguri area. Kenya's dairy industry is a dynamic one and plays an important economic and nutritional role in the lives of many. Small-scale farmers who are the backbone of the dairy industry in the country are also the most exploited players in the milk value chain with poor pricing of their milk that is mostly bought by hawkers. Tired of missing out on the bounty, farmers in Gidunguri, Kiambu County are pulling their resources together to operate a milk processing plant. Highlands Premium Dairy serves an estimated 4,500 farmers who are now able to get 35 shillings for a litre of milk compared to a hawker who buys the milk at between 18 and 25 shillings. Before we came into the picture, there were these hawkers who would come and buy milk and then give very poor prices, the prices that could not sustain the animals. Milk hawking has been a huge challenge in the country, with the government even outlawing the practice. It has, however, persisted in milk production areas, posing a threat to what people consume. With a milk production capacity of 50,000 liters a day, Highlands Dairies is not even able to meet its current market demand that stand at 75,000 liters a day, a clear indication of the potential of the dairy industry in Kenya. Currently what you're working is to work with the farmers, partner with them, um, help them to uh, increase their production. The processor has now launched an extension service which is aimed at educating farmers on modern ways of raising high quality breeds that mature faster and produce more milk as it seeks to increase the amount of milk it receives from them per day with the aim of meeting its demand and raising its market share. Yogurt you normally do 1,500 per day and uh, for fresh, fresh milk we normally produce uh, 25,000 to 24,000 liters per day. The exponential growth of the Uplands Premiums Dairies Limited in the last five months is a clear indication that the dairy sector in the country is a vibrant one and more investors across the country should invest in this kind of investment. Philip Keitan reporting for KTN from Gidunguri, Kiambu County.